Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom PHP or JavaScript to your WordPress site. Adding custom code snippets to your site with PHP or JavaScript can extend the functionality of your site for your specific needs, including extending the functionality of a plugin like WP Forms. I'm going to go over the two most common ways of adding PHP or JavaScript to your WordPress site by using the WP Code plugin and creating a child theme. Keep in mind that you can use either method to add either code snippets to your site in general or just code that you'd like to use for WP Forms. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start off by learning how to add code by using the WP Code plugin. After logging into your WordPress site, go to the plugins page, click on the Add New button at the top of the page, and then search for the WP Code plugin. When it appears, install and activate it. Using a snippet-specific plugin is by far the easiest way to add custom code to your site, which is why we recommend using WP Code. Normally, you'd need to add code snippets to your site's functions PHP file, but the WP Code plugin allows you to add this code without the risk of potentially breaking your WordPress site. When the plugin has been activated, click on the Code Snippets tab on the left, click on Add Snippet, and then on the next page, select Add Your Custom Code. On this page, you'll see a field where you can create a title for your snippet, and on the right side, you'll also see a drop-down box called Code Type, where you can select what kind of code you're going to be adding. In this case, I'm going to select PHP Snippet. Below that, you'll see a text box where you'll enter your code. Underneath the Code Preview box will be a section called Insertion. This will let you determine where exactly you'd like to insert the code and execute the snippet you're going to add. Paste your code into the Code Preview box, and in the Insertion section, select Auto Insert. In the Location dropdown, select Front End Only. WP Code will also let you add basic information such as tags and notes to better organize your snippets if you're going to be adding a lot of them. When you're done, scroll to the top of the page, click on the Save Snippet button on the top right corner, and toggle the switch beside it from Inactive to Active. Afterwards, click on the Update button to make the changes live on your site. The second method I'm going to go over is adding PHP or JavaScript by using a child theme. A child theme is essentially a theme that copies the functionality, features, and style of the parent theme. You can then customize the child theme with code like PHP or JavaScript without making any changes to the parent theme. This is especially helpful when you need to update your site's theme. If you use a child theme, you can update the parent theme without losing any of the customizations you created and applied to the child theme. The first thing we'll want to do is open a new tab and go to wpforms.com forward slash developers, and in the search bar, type in PHP and select the second article that appears. Alternatively, you can find a direct link to this developer doc in the video description below. We're going to need to copy a CSS code snippet from this article to set up our child theme. Scroll down to the bottom until you find the following code snippet and copy it to your clipboard as we'll need this in a few moments. To create the child theme for your site, create a brand new folder on your computer's desktop. For this example, I'm just going to name the folder 2020 child. Inside the folder, you'll need to create two text documents a style.css file and functions.php file. You can create these files by using a text editor like Notepad, so create a new doc and we'll first paste the CSS code snippet that we copied from the developer doc, then save the file as style.css. In the same folder, create another text document and the only thing we're going to write in this file is the following open PHP tag. Save this file as functions.php. When you're done, Compress the folder containing the two text files into a zip folder, and then we'll go back to our WordPress site and go to Appearance, then Themes. From there, click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Theme button. Select the compressed child theme folder, and when it's done installing, activate it. You'll then be able to see that you now have a working child theme, and if you go into the Theme Editor, you can add either custom CSS in the style.css file, or PHP and JavaScript to your functions.php file safely. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to safely add custom PHP or JavaScript to your WordPress site. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, 
where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. If you need any extra technical help, please visit our contact page and reach out to our support team.